When my youngest son was still in diapers and just able to hold himself up on things, one of his favorite places to be was at the front door. And across the street was this very loud and boisterous Italian family, the Nespolis. And they had a dog named Nico. Well, Nico was forever getting out. And so inevitably, there'd always be a family member out on the front stoop yelling for Nico, Nico, Nico. So do you want to guess what my son's first word was? You got it, Nico. <laughs> well, in my devotions yesterday morning, I was reading an excerpt from Chuck Swindoll. He was talking about providence and how that word comes from a Latin word called providentia, which actually sounds Italian to me, but you know, that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> Back to Latin. Uh, so pro means before or ahead of time. And videntia is from videre, which means to see. So put them together. Providentia means to see ahead of time. And that's what Almighty God does. We sometimes think it'd be really cool to see into the future. But when you think about it, that might not be such a hot idea. I don't really want to know some of the things that are going to happen to me. Today's enough. Look, if someone had told us that starting in March, every American would be at home, schools would be closed, and restaurants would be takeout only, yeah, we probably wouldn't believe them, right? But God is continually, constantly, and confidently at work. He knew where we'd be today. This does not surprise him. And it's not more than he can handle. He's not panicked. He wants you and me to place our trust in him and receive his peace. So join me in not worrying about tomorrow. Because we're in a place where this virus isn't the only problem. There's also a pandemic of fear. But God, who feeds the birds and waters the lilies in the field, He'll take care of us. It reminds me of this song. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you.